Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today we are here yet again in Plymouth Isle, a world that I created completely from scratch. You can check out that series on my channel. And today I am building a house called Seaside Retreat, which is right next to the previous house that I built, which was Beachfront Bungalow. So this house was built on lot number 86 in Plymouth Isle. Um, so you can download this uh, house. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link to a lot map as well. So you can find where lot 86 is. Um, so yeah, this house um, is a little bit smaller than the previous one and the one that it's right next to. Um, it is a four bedroom, three bathroom house in the end. Um, and it's kind of a quirky house, which is kind of fun. Um, it's very unconventional. Conventional, um, especially when it comes to the floor plan, uh, which you'll see once we get into it a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of like a cozy, kind of small uh, house, you know, right on the beach. So it's right across the street from the ocean, which is nice, hence the name Seaside. Um, uh, so yeah. Anyway, here you can see the roof. Um, the house is a two-story house, but most of the second floor is underneath the roof, um, kind of like a bungalow style. So you can see here, I'm just doing some adjustments with that. Um, I actually right now have a second floor kind of on the left side of the house, but I do end up changing that. So the second floor only ends up being on the right side of the house. Um, yeah, I just thought it looked kind of weird because I didn't like how flat the roof line was. It was just like kind of a straight line. Um, so I decided to have a lower roof on the left side uh, so it looked a little bit uh, more interesting. But anyway, right now I'm just still adjusting the roof here. You can see there's some shed dormers going on. There's going to be four of them actually in total, um, one for each of the upstairs bedrooms. Um, so there's going to be two bedrooms on the first floor and there's going to be two bedrooms on the second floor. Um, and then it's like two bathrooms on the first floor and one bathroom on the second floor. Uh, so yeah, it's, you know, pretty um, decent sized house. Um, the price ends up coming to 116,000 simoleons, um, I think 117,000 including the lot. So it is a little bit more expensive than some of the other houses in this area, but it's less expensive than the last house, I think that was 130,000, but yeah, they still, um, these houses still are uh, more on the expensive side. Um, I hope to build some more inexpensive houses in the next few videos. I don't know, I always say that, but then it doesn't end up happening because it's just hard to make inexpensive houses. Um, I just like want to place all these things and then it just kind of, uh, you know, budget falls apart. But um, yeah, this house is um, a little bit more on the expensive side uh, for a house this size. But yeah, you can see here getting in some stairs. Um, that's where the stairs end up going. And what you'll notice instantly is that, um, well, actually not instantly. You wouldn't notice until I say it, I guess. So anyway, um, uh, yeah, the once you what you'll probably notice once I start with the floor plan and especially with furnishing is that the front door is at the back of the house. Now this is um, very strange, I know, but I don't know. I want to try it out. Um, so like you can see that little hallway there at the back. That's where the front entrance is, and you can see right now I'm making um, these two bedrooms here. Um, in the front, so I have the master bedroom with the bed in it right now, and a smaller bedroom next to it. The living room is at the back, um, in the larger room, the smaller room at the front is the dining room, and the kitchen is the room with the bay window. So yeah, it is it is definitely an unconventional floor plan where you walk in, uh, the front door is like at the back, it's kind of like at the side at back of the house, and that's like your hallway, which leads to your living room, which is at the back of the house, and the dining room is at the front. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how it works out. But both the living room and dining room have fireplaces, which is nice. Um, and the reason I did this is the uh, master bedroom this way gets a balcony um, slash front porch that is facing the ocean. And there's also a nice balcony slash front porch um, for the dining room as well that faces the ocean. So that's pretty nice. Um, and then the living room got to be larger um, considering where I put the stairs. So um, I thought it worked out pretty well. It's also just kind of different. Um, it's just like interesting. Um, so yeah, there is a walkway um, that's combined with the driveway that kind of goes around the side of the house, which will lead you to the front door. And um, yeah, there's no stairs for these front um, uh, balconies slash porches here. Um, so yeah. But anyway, here, um, that's where the front door is. I do change the front door to be something a little bit nicer um, than that one. But here, getting on the interior doors right now, I'm going to change the color of them later. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see the layout at this point. You can see these upstairs bedrooms. Um, that's where the driveway is. I just kind of rough it in for now. Um, but yeah, that's the driveway. And that's where the front walkway will be as well. Um, and right now, I'm just looking for windows. I do end up adding another um, 
porch in the front um, where the where I'm putting the windows right now. So that ends up um, becoming a front porch because it looked a little bit too flat right there. I wasn't a huge fan um, of the way that looked. Now, I'm using a lot of windows from the store set in the Now and Then Century Manor. Um, I use these windows a lot on these uh, Plymouth Isle houses. I just like them a lot. Now, if you don't have the Now and Then Century Manor set and you want to download the house um, and you want windows like that, I would recommend as an alternate option, um, the Ambitions has windows that are very similar to that. Um, they're just a little bit skinnier. Um, but yeah, there's like these tall, skinny windows from Ambitions that are kind of similar. And also the base game has windows that are kind of like that, except they have arched tops, but you could change those out. I mean, I don't know like what um, the game replaces those windows with if you don't have that store set, but you know, I would recommend using um, the kind of tall arched windows from the base game or the Ambitions windows that are tall and skinny um, if you want to uh, have windows like that, but don't have that set, you know, you don't have to obviously buy that set to get this house because those windows aren't necessary to the house, you know, since there's uh, other options in the game. Um, and then I already used other Ambitions windows in the house as well. Um, so, you know, the Ambitions ones will fit in too. Um, but anyway, you can see here, I got the other front porch in, um, and now I'm just getting a tree in there. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of nice landscaping and stuff on this house. Um, very lush, kind of like the last one. Um, but yeah, so like lots of trees and stuff. Uh, this lot is kind of interesting because there's like a road behind it as well. You can see there um, that kind of almost touches at the back, but it doesn't. I mean, of course, in real life, I'd imagine this lot would kind of go all the way to that road, kind of like an angled back end of the lot. But of course, in The Sims, lots can't be anything but a square rectangle. So, oh well. Um, anyway, you can see I got some stairs in for the front entrance, um, and I'm just going to lay out some furniture in the house at this point um, without like uh, adding any, changing any colors and stuff. So you can see the living room layout there. Um, I actually put the lot washer and dryer in a weird spot right there in the front hallway, which is kind of unconventional, but I imagine that in real life it could be like in a closet, but in The Sims you can't have them function and have like them be in a two by one space like they probably would work in real life so you can just imagine that would be like in a closet or something but they're right there um but anyway now i have the dining room uh, furniture kind of in place um so yeah and yeah it kind of gives you a basic idea of what each room is going to be and how the furniture layout is going to be in those rooms um so yeah i don't know my microphone like fell over at some point i don't know how that happened <laughs> what i mean by fell over kind of like tilted backwards I don't know. Anyway, that's that's fine. I just, like looked down. And I was like, oh, I probably sound weird now. Hopefully not. Um, but yeah, that that kind of happened. But no matter, I can pretty easily adjust that um, to make that little portion a little bit louder to match with the rest of the video. But anyway, back to the house. Um, right now, I am working on uh, just changing the exterior colors and stuff. So we have um, nice white trim, which is pretty typical of my houses. Um, they all end up having white trim, usually not all of them, but most of them. And yeah, I'm going with, um, again, wood shake siding. You know, this is basically um, what I've been using for a lot of my um, houses recently. This one, I wanted it to have kind of more of like a salmon pinkish tone to it. So that's what I went for with this house. Um, so yeah, it's not like meant to be just like a wood color. I mean, it is like a kind of a wood color, but like the idea is that it's like intentionally like you know, washed or something to like, or have like some sort of like paint on it that makes it like that kind of like, you know, tint of color. But anyway, right now I'm still going through with the windows and doors, um, inside and outside the house, um, just changing all that kind of stuff. And now I'm back at the, um, exterior siding. So just going through, um, I made it like a little bit more desaturated, but now I'm just going around the rest of the house. So I'm getting that in everywhere. So it looks nice. Um, so yeah, the house is basically just, um, the, uh, wood siding and then also the dark stone. I think that's from Ambitions. I mean, this siding is also from Ambitions too. Um, I like it a little bit more than the base game one, but I mean, I still use the base game one occasionally. It's just that this one has um, the trim pieces that are, you know, um, recolorable, whereas the one in the base game, you can't like make the corner trim uh, any different color from the main part of the siding. So I like to have like that contrast sometimes. Um, but anyway, yeah, I was actually just comparing this house with the others in the street just to see if it like fit in well. And I think it does. Um, but yeah, anyway, just doing that, uh, this is the, 
uh, deck color um, or material here. So I'm just getting that on right now. Um, and just getting that on all the porches and stuff, all that, all that kind of stuff, you know, stuff and things. Um, there's also a nice little balcony there um, off of one of the upstairs bedrooms, which is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, anyway, that's all the porches and stuff like that recolored. Um, and now at this point, I believe we're going to start on the interior of the house. Um, so the inside is, you know, kind of, it's, it's like... I don't know if it's really beachy per se, but maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, I went with these floors here um, that are kind of like a parquet sort of look, sort of vibe. Um, and I think I went with um, somewhat of a whitish color or an off. It's not It's not really whitish, but I guess is that the color? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it kind of is. It's a very light color. Um, and then I'm going to get in some wallpaper here. Uh, and we'll start with the living room first, and I believe we do the dining room and kitchen next. Um, but yeah, so the yeah the wallpaper in this room ends up being blue or like some some form of blue, um, some shade of blue. So I'm just going through. Um, I don't like the wood color on it right now. It's the same wood as on the floor, but it doesn't really translate well onto the wall trim in my opinion. But I used it on the fireplace anyway. Um, but yeah, there's your fireplace recolored. Uh, I used the color from the door trim on the walls instead, which I thought was a little bit cr cleaner, a little crisper. Um, but yeah, uh, just recolored the bookshelves there. I got this lighting fixture in here, um, which is nice, I guess. So there's that. Um, and yeah, just rotating that around. So yeah, there's uh, two couches in here, a nice chair, um, nice fireplace, I mean, a nice TV <laughs> over the fireplace there. Um, but yeah, just doing some recolor in here, getting the wood tone down for the furniture. So just, yeah, changing the colors and stuff here. Um, went for a second, nice, um, neutral kind of colors on the furniture in this room. So kind of like an off white on the couches, like a brown leather on the chair there. Um, getting a nice coffee table and then also a rug, of course. So just, uh, choosing that. And then I'm also going to get in, I think, a little um, uh, table to go behind the couch or something like that. But anyway, here I'm just looking for curtains, um, which I think end up being blue or some variety of blue. Uh, so just getting those on here. Um, and now I'm recoloring the rug there. Uh, and yeah, here comes the little table there um, behind the sofa, just so it looks a little bit nicer back there. Um, and I also got, of course... Never fear, the yellow horse is here. Um, so I got that in here. Um, so yes, yellow horse. Um, I, I've been forgetting it a lot in some of these houses, but the last couple I've got it down pat, so never fear. Um, anyway, so here I am with the stairs. Um, Recoming them, Crystal really went crazy here. You can see um, was lagging out a lot there. Um, and remember, this is seven times speed, so that was, uh, I had to wait a little while for it to regain its bearings. But anyway, um, the railing is now recolored, stairs are recolored. Um, and this is the tiny upstairs hallway. Um, yeah, it's very small, a little landing on the second floor. But yeah, here I'm just recoloring some stuff. Um, and yeah, back on the first floor, getting in some lighting in the hallway there by the stairs. Also a little rug there, of, of course. Um, and some plants, I think, in the living room, because I have not gotten any plants in the house yet, so we're getting some in now, you know, something good to fill up some space, so there's some plants there either side of the fireplace, and then some in the corner, but yeah, that's it for the living room, I think, so next, I think we're into the kitchen here, so the kitchen kind of has more of a green and, and cream, creamy yellow off-white, uh, color scheme, um, but the kitchen is very large, which is nice, it has a nice bay window in it, um, so that's cool, it's gonna be like a little, um, kind of eat-in nook, um, which is nice. So yeah, your Sims will be able to have like a little, you know, breakfast nook there in their kitchen. Um, but yeah, you can see it, it's a very spacious kitchen here. Um, and we have like some green uh, appliances to match the green tile on the walls. Um, I'm gonna go for um, like a dark uh, countertop colored as well. So we have that, and I'm just recoloring all of the uh, cabinets and things. So just changing the color of the cabinets and the countertops. And now I'm also doing um, the floor. So the floor is kind of like this neutral colored um, stone, which I use um, the variety of like masonry stone floors, like in all the bathrooms and stuff, um, instead of tile, because I think it's kind of a different look, you know. 
a different look and feel. Um, but anyway, here, just getting in that little dining table I was mentioning earlier. So just recoloring that. Um, so there it is. And also going to get some lighting in the kitchen here. So some pretty simple little lights here. These are lights I use a lot, um, as some people may have noticed. They're also from the store. Um, but of course, they're not necessary to have if you want down the house. I only use two of them in the whole house. Um, but anyway, here, um, just uh, recoloring the curtains. So the curtains, of course, are going to match um, the other green colors in the room. So we got that going on. And also a little one there over the kitchen sink window, which also looks out to the ocean, which is nice. Uh, here I'm getting in a couple of things, just some paper towels and um, some soap. And also there's an air conditioner and an elect electric um, box outside. Um, but yeah, here just getting in. So a few little plants and stuff around the room, some decorative oars there on the wall. Um, and then here I'm going to get in a little mat under the kitchen sink. But yeah, and also I think a rug there under the table. But that's pretty much it, I think, for the kitchen. Um, getting in a microwave and a dishwasher. But yeah, there you go. Um, so now we're going to move on to the dining room, which also is a fireplace. It also has that nice view of the ocean, also with that nice uh, front deck there. So... Yeah, very nice room there. You can like open up those doors, I'd imagine, um, and like eat uh, while being able to like feel the ocean breeze. You know, can't do that in The Sims, but in real life, um, that'd probably be nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, here uh, going for more of a bluish gray color scheme in this room. Um, we kind of like these polka dots on the walls, um, which I thought was kind of fun. So I have that, and then also um, nice like light wood color in here um, with this kind of contrasting dark gray chair uh, upholstery. But yeah, I'm um, just kind of getting in all the stuff in here, curtains and stuff. I don't know how many chairs in that dining table are usable. Probably not many because the game is really annoying about having things near the dining table, like archways and doors and fireplaces and stuff. So yeah, it may be, you might have to remove some things if you want all the seats to work at the dining table, but I just wanted to make it look nice. So that's usually my initial, that's like usually my priority, um, but yeah, just warning that may be a slight issue. Anyway, we're moving on now, I think, to the master bedroom. Or actually, I might do the guest bedroom first. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, also, yeah, recoloring the uh, washer dryer there and doing the front entrance hallway because I didn't really do that yet. Um, so yeah, there's the front entrance there. Um, and yeah, so yeah, the master suite is nice uh, at the front of the house with ocean views. Um, has an ensuite bathroom, um, but I think we're gonna do this bedroom first. This is the guest bedroom, which also has a door to that same uh, front balcony um, that the master bedroom has access to. So yeah, um, and yeah, it's a small bedroom. I think it's uh, four by four in size, um, but you know, it's fine. It's a guest room, or it could be like a home office or something like that. Depends how you wanna, uh, you know, furnish it. But yeah, this house um, has four bedrooms, so I furnished. Um, you know, one is a master, one is a guest room, this one, and then two kids' rooms on the second floor. So that's kind of what the plan was with this house. But yeah, anyway, you can see here, just getting in uh, some carpeting in this room. Um, the master bedroom is the only bedroom with wood floors. So usually that's the way I do it. Um, but yeah, also getting in uh, some form of wallpaper color here. I think it's kind of like an off-white color that I end up going with, um, or kind of a light grayish color. And uh, just kind of decreasing the saturation there on the carpet, getting in some nice coastal artwork there over the bed. Um, and yeah, a little curtain there on the window. And uh, I'm going to do a few more things in this room, but it's a pretty small room. I couldn't fit too much in it. Um, but I wasn't going to have a mirror there, but I actually wanted to put a bookshelf instead. So I had to move the mirror to the master bathroom. But anyway, yeah, all the bedrooms in the house have closets, which is something I do in all my houses. I just like to have that. Um, of course, they're just decorative, but I think it's a nice touch to have. So yeah, there's a closet there for this bedroom. Um, and then also a bookshelf there. Um, which is nice, but yeah, I think that's mostly it for this bedroom. We need to get something, uh, some sort of art over the bookshelf. There we go. Um, so yeah, I think that's um, pretty much it for that bedroom. Um, nice rug as well, actually. Always, uh, always good to have a rug, um, even though it's already carpet, so it's a little redundant, but you know, it's fine. And then, oh, one more piece of artwork. How lovely. So there you go. Um, now we're moving on to the master bedroom. So the master bedroom, um, of course, has that access to the front porch. Um, and the color scheme in here is kind of more of a bluish green color. Um, so you can already see it on the walls there, and then I'm going to adjust the colors on the bed a little bit. 
um, but yeah, we have a fancy bed in here, which is nice. Um, I also noticed that the nightstands are placed like oddly far away from the bed, um, and you'll see the same thing in the screenshots. I fix it though after I take the screenshots and everything. Like I went back in later and was like, oh, these are kind of weird, so I fixed them. So if you download the house, you'll find that the nightstands are the appropriate uh, distance from the bed and not like weirdly far away. Um, Although I don't know if you would notice or not, but yeah. Um, so anyway, just doing some stuff in here. Got a little stereo there underneath um, the little table, side table there by the TV. Yes, there is a TV in here, which is nice. Um, getting some curtains on the windows there, um, making them kind of the same kind of blue color as the bedspread. Um, also getting a rug in as well. So uh, yeah, just going to recolor that too. Um, but yeah, I think that's mostly it for this bedroom. Um not too much more to do. There's a wardrobe in here, which is nice. Also getting in some mirrors there over the nightstands. Um, there's also a closet, of course. So just getting some uh, lights in there. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the master bedroom. We'll move on to the master bathroom in a second here. So yeah, the master bathroom has two sinks um, and toilet and a shower. Um, there wasn't really room to fit a bathtub in here with the dual sinks. Um, because of the way the windows were placed uh, where the door was. But um, yeah, pretty simple bathroom. Um, just recoloring some stuff in here. I think I make the colors um, kind of match the bedroom. So we kind of have a darker grayish blue tile um, and stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, just doing some recoloring in here. Um, so just going through, there's some counter colors there. Uh, the wall colors, I believe, is the same um, wallpaper from the bedroom. And then uh, like kind of the dark blue tile, um, and then getting enough flooring there. Um, so yeah, just to recolor in that. So there you go. Um, and again, I was going to get in toilet paper, but I couldn't really fit it, uh, it in anywhere. So, oh well. I'm also getting in some towels, of course, um, and then also some mats on the floor. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the master suite. Um, we got some blinds in the windows there and then a few more lights in the bedroom, but that's pretty much it there. Um, one more room on the first floor here is going to be this downstairs bathroom. Um, this is kind of a guest, just a guest bathroom, you know, for that guest bedroom or for anyone visiting. Um, this is the only bathroom that has a bathtub in the house, so it has a tub-shower combo in here, and then there's just a simply a toilet and a sink. So yeah, um, pretty simple uh, guest bathroom here off the, the living room, so it's kind of near the other guest bedroom. It's kind of on the other side of the living room from that bedroom. Um, but yeah, just getting in some details in here. Um, some towels, of course, toilet paper, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to also uh, get in some curtains as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, for this bathroom. We've got to get a flooring in, actually. I haven't gotten that in yet. Um, there we go. So yeah, um, that's the first floor done, I believe. Um, so I think next we're going to either do some outside stuff or maybe some landscaping. Uh, I mean, some outside stuff, or maybe some of the upstairs rooms, I guess we'll see. Um, so yeah, let's see. I guess we're going to move upstairs. So um, this is one of the kids' bedrooms on the second floor. Um, it's the larger of the two, so it has the balcony, which is nice. Um, it doesn't have like a normal closet. The closet is um, one of those corner closets that I have been doing on rooms that really can't fit a full-size closet. Um, of course, both are decorative anyway, um, but yeah. Just getting in uh, as the colors in here. This bedroom has a four-poster bed. Um, but yeah, just recoloring uh, that and looking for a bedspread, I guess. Uh, I think I went with that one. Um, I really like the colors in this room, especially the, the um, kind of like apricot-ish color on the bedspread, I think is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, just uh, getting in some furniture here. I put the bed on like a jaunty angle because I was like, why not? Um, it's a little fun, I guess, uh, a little quirky. Um, but yeah, here getting in um, a lamp and an alarm clock. Uh, this um, bedroom has a nice dresser and a desk. It is a larger room. Um, and of course, like I mentioned before, the balcony, which is nice. Um, but yeah, a little desk chair there, a little bookshelf as well. Um, and then I'm also going to get, of course, some toys and some posters and all the kind of decorative uh, items, but also, of course, curtains as well. So just getting those in. Um, so some curtains, also a little desk lamp there, um, like some pens and pencils, like a little notepad. Um, and then I'm going to get a mirror there over the dresser that kind of matches. Um, and then also just some items around the room. Um, so looking for that, like, yeah, I got that nice bulletin board thing there of the desk, which I thought was nice, always a nice thing to have. Um, and then just also some art and stuff, and yeah, um, and I'm also gonna get a little rug on the floor, and then, um, some toys in the room as well, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get some of those things around the, around the room, um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, that's gonna be pretty much it for this kid's room, um, 
you know, pretty good, uh, decent size as well. Um, the other kids' room is right here, just um, down the hallway. Um, this one's a little bit smaller. Um, it has a full-size closet, though, because there's that awkward space there um, uh, between the room and the chimney, so I decided to just turn that into a closet. Um, this bedroom has a very, like, kind of space theme, as you can probably already tell by the wallpaper. Um, and then the bedspread has, like, this geometric kind of pattern to it, so something a little different. I usually, like, have made... Um, Kids' bedrooms like nautical, but not like space themed. So yeah, this one's space themed. Um, but yeah, here I'm just getting in um, some curtains. I was looking for different ones, but I settled on the same ones um, that are in the other rooms in the house. Um, so yeah, just getting those in. Um, I'm just putting the yeah, putting the curtains on the windows. Um, but yeah, like this bedroom is a little bit smaller, so we have a dresser here. There's not really much room for other furniture though. So yeah, there's kind of less going on in this room. Um, but also is getting in the posters here as well. Uh, so there's various uh, posters around the room, uh, some fun colorful stuff here, a little uh, stereo in here as well, and a little neon uh, light there on the wall, which I thought was fun. And also, of course, some toys and a rug. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this bedroom. I believe we're going to get the closet in though, so I'm just doing that right now. Um, but yeah, that's actually mostly it for the house. Oh, actually, we have the um, bathroom. That's right. So the upstairs bathroom as well. Um, so that's going to be um, right here. And this bathroom is more of a blue uh, color scheme. So yeah, going in for the blue tiles there. Um, kind of like a royal blue and kind of a gray floor. Um, but yeah, this room has a just a stall shower um, because it is the smallest bathroom in the house, you know. Um, the uh, whole second floor is kind of small. Um, it was a very tight space to kind of fit stuff in, but it worked out pretty well, I think. Um, but yeah, anyway, here, just getting in um, some details in here. So, you know, just some um, towels, toilet paper, all the same kind of stuff. And of course, mats on the floor, all that kind of stuff. So just doing that. But yeah, that's it for the inside of the house, I believe. We're going to now probably move on to doing some landscaping and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we'll see that in a few moments. But yeah, just doing a little bit of recoloring still. Oh, I was changing out the wall color there. Um, but yeah, so that pretty much, I guess, concludes the inside. Um, yeah, we're going to do some outside lighting here. So just some um, porch lights here for the front porches, a little light there by the front door, um, or more side door because the front door isn't on the front of the house. So, you know, kind of funky. Um, but anyway, here, getting in the pathway. So there's a pathway that goes to the front door um, and kind of becomes the driveway. So yeah, just doing that. Um, this house doesn't have um, a carport or anything like the next door house does, the house next door does. Um, so, but I do put a car in the driveway there. Um, but anyway, yeah, getting in plants and flowers and all that kind of stuff. Um, the same, same sort of landscaping that, um, you know, the other houses in the world have, you know, of course. So everything kind of fits in. Um, I use some heather though on this one, so that's a little different. Um, some like purple heather there on the ground. Um, but yeah, just going around um, different ferns and bushes and all that kind of stuff, um, you know, a variety of things here. Um, and also there's the uh, mailbox area, so a little fern there. Around the back of the house, not as many plants, um, but still quite a few. Um, yeah, so just getting that everywhere. And then, of course, I'm going to come back in with some terrain paint as well. So, you know, you'll see that in a few moments. Um, on the back porch there, a little trash can. I'll put a grill there as well. Um, and our tree there. Um, and uh, another tree there. Um, you know, plenty of trees and stuff. Um, and yeah, so also looking for a car here. So I'm going to get one of those in. So there's the car in the driveway, um, which I'm going to recolor. And I'm also going to recolor the mailbox. So the color of the mailbox will match the color of the um, uh, shutters on, the, on some of the windows in the house, which I thought was nice. But here I'm coming in with the terrain paint. Um, so of course, getting in that dirt terrain paint, which always uh, makes everything look a lot better and more realistic. But we're coming near the end of the video, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing. And of course, you can also check out um, other videos like this on my channel, um, and you can check out the playlist where I created this world from scratch on my channel as well. Um, of course, leave any feedback that you have in the comments below. Um, and if you liked the video, give it a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, just doing some final touches here. Of course, the download link is in the description, so you can check that out. You can add this to, um, you know, your own 
uh, save of Plymouth Isle if you have it. Uh, if you don't have Plymouth Isle, there's also a download link for Plymouth Isle in the description as well. Um, so you can download the world uh, from there. Um, and of course, there's some screenshots coming up in a few moments. I hope you stick around for those and you can uh, see the house from the inside a little bit better um, and get a better idea of how it all looks. But anyway, doing a final, a few final touches like a little swing in the backyard um, and some outdoor furnishings on the various uh, decks and stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you all have a great day and I hope to see you next time. 